Hello YouTube and welcome to this special election edition of my video blog. So yesterday was the big McLean's leadership debate. It's the first possibly the last of the federal election campaign um, live broadcast debates between the four um, big party leaders. It was really great, um, very well done, two hours long, it was very policy heavy, which you know, it's fine, um, but I just figured I would use this opportunity to talk about the journalism kind of behind it, or some of my journalistic observations. There will be a million people saying so-and-so won the debate, this person said something weird, there was an argument on Twitter about whether Justin Trudeau was wearing pants. I'm still not fully sure what that was about, but it was entertaining. Anyways, I'm not going to talk about that. I'm going to kind of review uh, the debate from a journalistic standpoint, because that's what these video blogs are, are for. So I've got my list here and I'm just going to go down them. First of all, I really enjoyed the format. It was really great. Um, McLean's did a fantastic job. Um, none of the party leaders were given the questions that they wanted that uh, the moderator was going to ask beforehand. There were also follow-up questions that Paul Wells, the moderator and senior political editor, um, put to the candidates um, after they originally responded to the question. So these were really great because he's really knowledgeable about the topic and he was able to counter what they were saying and go, well, you know what, this is what you've said before, how are you going to do that? Or you haven't made this promise, when should we expect to see the results of this policy, etc. So that was really fantastic. The only thing I was a little disappointed of was that there was no um, live fact-checking from Paul Wells, you know, he's very knowledgeable as well. There's a huge team of from McLean's behind the scenes working on this. And, you know, it would have been great to have him stop candidates in the middle of, you know, their little speeches or monologues and say, well, wait a second, what you just said isn't true or it is true. Because there were some candidates who were doing that and saying, I'm sorry, Mr. Harper or Mr. Trudeau, but what you see in your ads or what you're saying right now isn't true. These are the real numbers. And I just felt that that wasn't really their job. It was ours as a journalist or, you know, the moderator's job to make sure that what people were saying was true. Um, another thing that I really loved was the democracy segment. This isn't something usually brought up during the debates. Typically, moderators will bring up issues that you know, gain a lot of voter support, you know, pensions, child care, social aid, stuff like that. So it was really interesting to see all of the candidates' position on stuff like Senate reform, and you get to see who's really knowledgeable about, you know, the law aspect or, you know, what's going to happen when the provinces don't agree, etc. You know, the discussion took a really weird turn when they started talking about separatism, but I don't really know why that happened. Anyways, um, the actual democracy segment was really great, and I hope that that's something that people talk about over the next 11 weeks as well. Now, the only other real complaint that I had throughout the debate, which was fantastically done, um, was kind of the independent in, in between segments, the commercial breaks where they had a panel of experts and political um, commenting um, going on. Uh, the panel was basically all men and I thought that was really strange. There wasn't really a lot of diversity and I know for a fact that McLean's has a lot of very intelligent, um, politically aware women on their staff. Uh, so does Rogers. Um, so it would have been interesting to have some of them on the panel as well, or even someone n who knows the web to talk about the statistics. It was just a whole bunch of, you know, 40-year-old white men, and I just didn't think that was representative of the audience that was watching the debate. So I kind of wish that was different as well. It was a fantastic debate. I do wish that there was another one because even after two hours, there were still issues that we didn't get to. Um, but uh, we'll see. Other than that, uh, I thought it was really great. I'm looking forward to seeing how the media covers the rest of the election as the next 11 weeks unfold. All right, that's it for now, YouTube. Keep an eye out for more of these special election editions. Yay!
cut that up. All right.